Pokemon. Uh, well, you were misspelling it. Oh. Yeah. I was misspelling it, I guess. Pokemon. <laughs> I got your attention, didn't I? Hey, guys. Screw blind with. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. Aaron. Where's the Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know. I had Pokemon down from the last episode when they did that. <laughs> Dodopolis. Was that the Pokemon name? It, I, I think it evolves from something else. Dodopolis. Dodopolis. Dildong. Dill Trio. Just three of them. Sticking out of the ground. <laughs> What happened last time out, Wells? Calvin? Drugs are bad. Okay. The story of Fat, Fat Neil. Fat Neil. Large of bones. This music's amazing. He's doing the voice. Oh my gosh. Fat Neil, I can teach you how to do this, buddy. I survived high school, Fat. And I thrived. Down there for Fat Neil. The name became a joke. <laughs> what Fat Neil's happened? Do we didn't hear about this until like an episode or two ago. Yeah. Jeff. The liar, Jeff the liar, son of William the barely known, who first <laughs> barely known. all his books explaining he wouldn't need them anymore. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons? Pierce the insensitive, <laughs> who also is Pierce the dickish, and Grandpa the flatulent was not invited. Of course. The <laughs> Chang had been there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the narrator? A game which not only might save a life, <gasps> but which would forever oh, no. change the balance The darkness and the shadows. Good and Pierce. <laughs> Good and Pierce. Oh, Sweet. look at the number. Custom one. Moltres. <laughs> it's clearly a phoenix. Dumbledore. Oh. Unicorn. Whatever that is. Tacos? <laughs> I guess probably. That was great. I loved it. Thank you. Hey, Neil. This is good. Wow. He's a drow. He is a drow, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Choose a character carefully. They each have their own unique combination of strengths and... Alrighty. Shouldn't there be a board or some pieces or something to Jenga? No, Jenga. no this is a role-playing game. Something it to Jenga. takes place entirely in our collective imagination. Ooh, yeah. Neil. I tell a story and you make <laughs> Instead of me. Oh, yeah. What do I do? Roll dice? You tell me what you want to do. Then I roll the dice to see if you're successful. Oh. What are my choices? Okay, you're slowing things down, Jeff. Shirley, what do you want to do? <laughs> Ew, Hector the Well-Endowed? I'll bet. I didn't know you just grabbed one at random. I made that one with Troy in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I attack them using my additional notes. <laughs> <laughs> that has no effect. You've been shot by an arrow. Ow! <laughs> I like the sound effect. Uh, attack in a 180 degree arc. The goblins are terrible. Yes, Neil! Uh. The dark. They felt him before they saw him. Pierce. It's cold. What are you doing here? <laughs> How about you? First of all, gay. Second of all, stupid. And thirdly, so get out! You're stretching it. Pierce. <laughs> You're stretching it. In about 13 turns, he will die of exposure. Jeff. I wait 14 turns. <laughs> <laughs> I attack blackface. It's a critical hit. What? You've decapitated him. Brutalitops is dead. What, what is the system? No! <laughs> well, he didn't last long. <laughs> Playing idiots. <laughs> I like this music for, for his death. Catch him, please. Well, the cloak that Duquesne gave him was an elven cloak of wind walking, which is double speed, so no. He got away. <laughs> Neil, you gotta step up for yourself, man. I can't hear you over the sound of me rubbing his sword on my balls. Pierce, you! Dude, you would you have up? successfully rubbed your balls? Dude, what if you got a one right there? <laughs> right? You know? Cut his balls off. I don't like being excluded, Jeff. Do you? Yes! Y'all go in there. <laughs> it's so honest. <laughs> giving me that look you give me like I can't get erections. What? Is that the look? Like, we're gonna get that sword back. This might be better for him. We're gonna go fight and kill the bully. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a town nearby. We will go to that town and ask around about a Pegasus. Pegasus. Huzzah! Is that right? <laughs> Huzzah. Arky barky, arky barky bark. Why is he a pirate? He's a gnome. He only speaks gnome. Anybody here speak gnome? <laughs> oh, don't talk like that. I am so sorry, madam. Please don't report me for execution. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean that. Guys, <laughs> I love how in character she is. Pegasus. Did someone say Pegasus? A word I understand in every language. <laughs> <laughs> it's very heavy. And my doctor said... <laughs> 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 Fucking fierce, man. 
I hate him, but it, it makes me laugh too. Okay. He stopped in mid sentence. My doctor said I. T- <laughs> that would totally work with me. Unashamedly. Remember that time I had a little trap with the Snickers under it? Well. I got you trapped in that box? Yeah. It's a big box. All right, I take her by the hand and lead her to the stable. I light a candle and. <laughs> he just. What are they doing? Well, she said I cup her right breast and then I cup her left. Bring out my huge member. I flip, I her, flip over, her over and start, start spanking, spanking her. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking notes. Okay. <laughs> he was tied up. Austin promises you a flock of pegasi. A flock? flock. Pierce? Is he going to have like his cloak and... <laughs> what the hell? He's fashioned a throne. My name was Kyle. Why was there an eagle scream? Followed by a shrill screech and the beating of heavy wings against the sky. Wait, wings? The dragon. Red dragon crashes through the trees into the clearing. What are you doing? No! We have a red dragon right here! I run towards Pierce with my broadsword drawn and I attack his time stop! Time stop! Cast shape change on Duquesne. Oh no. Shape change. Shape you choose for him. Fat. No! Pierce, stop it! Make him as fat as fat Neil. Pierce! Oh, Let's just kick his ass. That's what you're supposed to do. That would make me feel yeah, but great. Jeff Winger coined the name Fat Neil. Jeffrey! I can make it up to you. I'll find a fatter Neil. <laughs> Huzzah! You know what? It's kind of fair. <laughs> I'll find it. My fat. first question is like, was there a regular Neil? But you were also standing kind of near uh, other Neils. There was what another Neil. Neil. He's bald? He's black. Well, I don't look at the world through that lens. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be high roading you. I'm not What's better, black Neil or fat Neil? Invite me to your crap. But then you ruin it. I would never invite him to another thing. <laughs> For my turn, I raped the decaying family. Again. Jesus. Unfreeze time. Done. You guys can move again. I breathe so much fire. I Hold it. Go. You just used your move on freezing time. Neil. Right, turn take the more. sword of Duquesne. Kill it. Any modifiers? I mean, it's a plus three sword. Nineteen! Yeah! Freeing Draconis from its spell. Feed him to it. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! As a reward. Excelsior. Excelsior! Excelsior! Spider friends. Good job beating Pierce. Pierce Hawthorne saved the life of Fat Neil while learning very, very little. Good night. What? That's the narrator. That was the narrator. <laughs> you had the question, they answered it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, how could you possibly want giant ears over a tail? If you had a tail, people could always tell when you're happy. Yes, but with giant ears, you could hear things from miles away. And you could wear backpacks as earrings, which would free up your hand. What the hell? Oh, tail is much better. Uh, Thank you. All in favor of giant ears? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Four. What the hell? <laughs> Other people use it. <laughs> Write anything down. I got some. I forgot. I love the, the play off the D and D stuff. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Like I've only played D and D a little bit. It wasn't too distracting how how they were playing, <laughs> but it was pretty. It was pretty good. Sure. No, yeah, theirs was really more like off table. Yeah, kind of gaming. One dice just by the the. The yeah. and all sure, that. and you can do it too very minimalistically. You sure. don't need to have a whole bunch of other stats and stuff, and just have like, all right, I'll roll for you, and then I'll just tell you what happens. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the thing there is like you put. It's a matter of like, is the DM in more control, or the characters and the individuals in more control? Like, depends how yeah. much how much control you want different people sure. to have, right? Sure. And how much flexibility in the rules you want the DM to have? Yeah. Like if you have that, then the DM can really adjust any of the story beats. However, you know. Here, he was like, I gotta be fair. That's why I rolled. You know, he took the sword, took your cloak, ran away with it, took his shit. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, like, you could have also had him roll it and be like, uh, you you failed to take a sword. Yeah. And then they stabbed you and you're dead. Yeah. (laughs) You know, but this might have been a good way of having, like, a bully who's pushing and then he has to fight back and defeat him, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And find a way of, like, I pity you. As a person that survived high school overweight, I just wish Neil stood up for himself more. Sure. He's gonna have a tough life. Cause like I was overweight, but anybody like no one made me like at least not to my face. But if you made fun of me, we're gonna have a problem. Uh, but you could be on the joke. I'll make jokes, you know, about myself. But if someone were to make fun of me, then I have to do that thing where I 
you do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you like, twist, oh, their, so bad. twist their arm. Yeah. Skin. Like, you're going to kind of last some damage, but like, I'm like, you, am I so fat now? <laughs> they're like, yes, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you make it like fun in a way where it's like, hey, here's a line and you crossed it. I'm going to help you go back over, you know, and if you continue to cross it, then we got a problem. But most people, if you just say like, hey, here's a boundary and you've clearly crossed it. Uh, now, there are assholes like Pierce that uh, continue to, in which case, he needs, comp- like, he, this was the worst Pierce episode. I hated Pierce and don't want to see him again in this episode. Oh, he yeah. needs ostracized. I don't feel bad for him. He knows what he's doing. He's just lashing out. No. Yeah. The last episode did better where I'm like, he wanted to be the, the star, like, of the, the drug show or whatever, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was, like, making drugs fun. Sure. But then, like, there was also the sadness of his dad and yeah. hiring Nigel or whatever the hell his name mm-hmm. was, who was the, the actual son role, and yeah. he didn't get to be it, you know? And it's just like, mm-hmm. you're, but your parents are proud of you, you know? But sure. his son is, like, just yeah. sad. So that one did better where I'm like, it did. I hate what Pierce is doing, but this helps me understand him better with this. There's and a couple here, I'm just like, I just, I'm yeah. I was really frustrated with him. I just, yeah. I greatly dislike hating his character. There's, a lot, there's other characters that I like to hate. I don't like to hate Pierce. Sure, I do. But I, it's real funny when he throws that that candy bar. That candy I like bar. that, Garrett. That was so funny. <laughs> I also really liked when he was like, "Get out of my chair! You're stretching it." That was hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah. What in isolation? How does that it's even really work? Funny. Exactly. That's, I think that's what makes it funny. Is like, yeah, it's hilarious. It's 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 a fat joke and a thing like that's not. If that's someone not said that to me, you know? I would laugh and move because I would respect how funny it was. <laughs> but I'd also you got to give as good as you get. Sure. You know? Yeah. And I'm yeah, not saying Pierce has always been a yeah. very bad sport about everything. I agree. And when I say you gotta, that's not true. Like people shouldn't treat you that way, regardless of what you look like or feel like or whatever. It's just unfortunately people will do that, so you kinda have to develop this, you know, luckily I don't I haven't had to do it for such a long time, but you have to develop this kind of like armor, right? Tyrion talks about like take what you feel like makes you insecure and wear it as armor and then it can't be used to hurt you. Like Anytime I put any opinion out there, there'll be a YouTube comment being like, that fat fucking idiot should shut up. And I just be like, <laughs> Sure. You know? It might be kind of on the line where, like, there's different categories of things where, yeah. like, people just look at you different because of whatever, right? Sure. Like, being a, like, if you're a woman, yeah. people look at you differently just because you're a woman yeah. than what your opinion's about or what you're saying sure. or whatever lots of times, you know? It can also, though, it can be an indicator that you've, not that you've won, but that you, like, you have the advantage now. Because when someone is having, like, a, like a purely intellectual debate with you, and then they'd be like, "Well, you're just fat." I'm like, okay, well, one. Because <laughs> <Well, the, laughs> like, you, you don't have anything yeah. else. They, yeah. they bring exactly. up more of that rather than the actual topic exactly. at hand yeah. and stuff. Like, I just heard a lot of like online personalities and stuff, and like just like female to male discrepancies yeah. of just like what they have to go through versus mm-hmm. like what a, what males have to go through, kind of thing. You know? Yeah, sure. And I, I when you were talking about like sometimes you got to grow a different, you got to have a thicker skin or what, whatever it is. Like sometimes you just have to get used to things. Oh yeah, it sucks to say that. It sucks, but, but like because they shouldn't have to. Yeah, exactly. Right? In a lot of those scenarios, you know. Yeah, like I wish society were better, but it's not, and I have to adapt. So Soon I feel for Fat the Neil, system but, will adapt. But, but Fat Neil, he, he he needs to he needs to adapt a bit. It's like, at the very least, it's got to be a thing where it's like, look, they can talk about you that way, but not to, like, you want someone to be like, hey, yeah, that's Fat Neil, don't call him that. <laughs> you know? You, you at least want the reputation of you will not allow yourself to be treated that way. Should he have been like, oh, the bathrooms are over there by Fat Neil, or the bathrooms are over there by Black Neil? Like, is sure. one of those better than another? You know I would have I mean? just said the bathrooms are over there by the Neils. Right? Well, or like a water <laughs> fountain. Or the water fountain, which or was not even a Neil. Down like, towards the end of the hall on the right. What if I don't or know who Neil like is? That. Sure. Right. I can't. If I don't know who the bathroom is, I probably don't know who Neil is. I can't speak on what other people are offended by or get upset by. But if someone, if there was like an, an Eric beside me, and then there was me, and he was clearly more in shape than me, and so I was like, oh, there was my my Eric. I'm like, which one? Fat Eric. I'd be like, well, yeah. <laughs> You would get closer to the bathroom. Oh, there's, you're facing reality. That's fine. Yeah, do you want? They're not saying it to be insulting. Sure. They're saying it to be for as a descriptor. But then it just stuck, and now you're just fat Eric. Well, time, sure. Right? But if it got, and if that got me upset, like, hey, rec- you know, skinny Neil's not here. Now I'm just a Neil. Yeah, sure. You know, I, I he's I like, well, you. yeah, but I'm calling you fat, and it's like, okay, well, now we're gonna have a problem. In case he shows and, up, you know, we don't. I don't be- know what happened. Every day your tires are slashed. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Look, it's flat Calvin. Can't be fat <laughs> Eric. He's too big to be to hide by, you know? Because <laughs> I've always got flat tires. You always have flat tires. Yeah. So it's a flat Calvin. 
So this is the episode that got pulled from other things, and I see why, like the the blackface uh, drow character, right? The dark elf. Yeah. yeah. Which, I guess though, for me also, like I'm looking at him, like I saw him, I'm like, oh, it's a drow. Yeah. Because like the context of what it's in. Sure. And he has like the white hair. Yeah. And he's like he's black. He has the he's pointed like, ears. And he, I yeah. feel like he's like he's like I don't know how to word it. I feel like he's drow black. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I feel like sure. in typical skin tones, mm-hmm. usually I don't know. I, I I maybe I'm wrong too. But like he I just, mean, there definitely are people like they're like fully African descent and everything. Sure. They have really super dark skin. super black skin. Like mm-hmm. I just looked but, at him as like a drow in the set, also in the setting of D and D. Sure. You know, but they also brought up blackface. They mentioned that too. He's like, I'm a drow. You well, know, of course, so. yeah. And, you know, just like with Neil, like, I can't tell Neil what should insult him or what doesn't, what hurts him, what doesn't. I can't, I'm not a person of color, so I can't say, like, what do I accept in my television or not when it comes to historically something that's been used to demean my whole race, sure. you know? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't, I don't have much an opinion of it other than it wasn't a deal breaker for me. Sure. No, I get you. At all. Pierce was so much more problematic. <laughs> yeah. No, and I feel like he more consistently is, yeah. usually, you know? Yeah, of sure. Like just, he walked in, the first thing he said, D&D, gay. Yeah. It was like, Jesus. All sure. Right. <laughs> but it's also, it's a product of its time in a, in a place, too, where that word was used a lot more than it is now. Sure. sure. To mean lame, But it was also highlighted like Chang with his character. Yeah. Sure. But it was also highlighted with his character. It was. And with Chang's character, yeah. also. Yeah. To be that annoying yeah. person that no one likes using that in that context. Sure, you know? yeah. Like, I just... It wasn't like that someone said it and everyone was like, ha ha, right? Yeah. You know? He, yeah. It's always like, yeah, an annoying person saying And it's, it's probably just that, that toxic part of me that's in there that's just like, let's just beat this bad behavior out of him, you know? But I just feel like I want to reach... <laughs> Hit him until he stops doing that. I feel that. like I want to reach into the television and do something about it. No, you know? yeah. Definitely. Especially when you have such, like, a sweet person like Neil. Like... He, he's genuinely kind. Yeah, and, he has no and teeth. And friendly. Yeah. And he, just to be abused by Pierce in that way. Yeah. Like, he's a gentle soul. You need to protect him. And I like you know? that Neil recognizes all of that and then had a good time at the game and invited him to do more, you know. And Neil is going to actually probably create some progress, whereas I would push him away, <laughs> you know, probably. My, the way that I would if treat you were Pierce. Neil, if I treated Pierce, yeah, the way that... If I were Neo and treat him the way that I would want me to treat him, then <clears throat> Pierce probably wouldn't get helped. Mm. But me and my friend group would be helped by not having him there. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Like, there are just people, I'll just, I will write you off. <laughs> you see? <laughs> and it may not be fair of me, but damn. I think I had a lot more problems with, like, Pierce just yeah. as a whole than, for me personally, on Chang. Like, if he would have been, like, an orc, and he would have painted himself, like, green, and instead of having the white hair, he would have had dust, tusks. Sure. You know, I, I looked at it more yeah. in the context. I don't think he was coming trying to be, like, what's that, Breakfast at Tiffany's? Yeah. Like, that guy being, like, an Asian guy and just stereotypically oh, yeah. like, painted him, he has teeth yeah. and glasses sure. and talking Which on that him. That was specifically about representation. They yeah. wanted to cast a white actor in this role, right? Yeah, like, and they could have, like, they could have casted an Asian actor mm-hmm. instead, but they casted a white actor and then just stereotypically just really pushed yeah. mm-hmm. an Asian stereotype yeah. to him. Made it like a like, costume yeah. instead of... Like, I feel like that was meant to be... Yeah. Well, I don't I don't think they were going for racist, but it definitely is very racist because I mean, they were wanting yeah. him to be an Asian guy, you know? Sure. Whereas this one, I feel like he's coming not as like a... Like, well, I'm going to be a black guy, but let's I talk I want to be it, a though, trap. Because, you know? like, do you, I mean, but Chang is a very... He's not necessarily ignorant. I feel like he's intentionally... Like, you know, he pokes at people, right? Sure. So, do you think that, because Pierce did point out, like, well, he's black face over there, you know? Do you think that Chang is doing it because... The Shirley history? Well, no. (laughs) (laughs) But is it one of those things where he's like, I'm doing it, I know it's kind of wrong, but because I'm doing it for D&D, I don't care, and I have a good out, so I can do it? You know? I don't know. I wonder, like, where his, like, actual motivation is, or is he just straight up... I'm role playing my character. Yeah. Before he got. I one. mean, he could have been. Yeah. Like he, he said that oh, I'm a drow. I don't sure. know if his character was a drow. If he was just, yeah. he just really likes drow. Like Dritz is like a, a more famous drow. Yeah. And he's just cool. You know, sure. he's a swordsman and stuff. But yeah. But like, if you, you know, know, if you, uh, there are a certain group of people that will just try to put be edgy and, and just push it, and if they can like get away with saying, well, I'm actually doing this, I'm doing a D and D thing, but. They have a certain satisfaction of like breaking the rules on school property sure. by wearing blackface. I wonder if it's closer to that or not. Yeah, 
Because he is an asshole. I think a lot of it just depends on context, I guess, sure, of it. yeah. I wonder what, like, I don't know what the reception, I'm assuming there must have been some kind of outcry because of people, if they pulled it from know. stuff. I mean, there definitely was. Yeah. Everything I've seen about it is just people being like, that. Nah, they shouldn't have pulled it. But yeah. I don't know what that is. The I mean, only there's, thing... There's definitely been some, because yeah. Amazon, or not Amazon, sorry, uh, Netflix, Netflix and Hulu both pulled that episode yeah. down. The, the biggest thing that I can think of, too, is like, I'm curious, I guess, if people of color and what yeah. their thoughts are. Because I feel like sometimes, and sometimes it can be good, but sometimes people that I don't know if they should be offended, like, sure. are offended. You mean people that are offended for the sake of others? Sure. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like that happens. Like, ah, sure. oh, I'm offended for, for black people. It's like, but are black people offended by this? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if they are offended, then yes, we should support that. But if they're not, and it's just, if this is just a guy wearing, like, a costume for D&D, well, yeah. then it's just a guy wearing a costume for D&D, and sure. you're just adding more to it, that doesn't need to be added. Yeah, but I if put it is more like, weight and more subtext, into I put it. more yeah. weight into the opinions and responses of people that are actually the target of that yeah. than, than others, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'd be curious on, I guess, that. That's why I was wondering what the reception mm-hmm. of that was, and being in a community that's mainly white, like, I, one, I don't see that very often. <laughs> yeah. For one, which I guess is good, <laughs> sure. because like, there's not just white people black facing themselves, you know? Sure. Yeah. But in, in a in some place where it's just more diverse. I just wonder, like, like, what people would think of this or what other thoughts yeah. are or whatever. Because hmm. I don't know many people that have watched Community. No? no? I'm sure you know a lot. They just don't talk about it. I mean, maybe. I'm or you're talk- like, Shh, I'm reacting. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people start talking about shows. Like, I got to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm either reacting to it or I might react to it or sure. whatever. So. But no, I mean, it's similar to, you know, Fat Neil. <clears throat> the things that were happening to him and the way that he was responding, I had a visceral reaction to Sure. You know, but that's because I'm part of that group, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It being voluntary a group or not, whereas, you know, something like blackface, like, well, you don't control your skin tone, you know? Sure. Yeah. You can and get should not be targeted or whatever. That. Right. Sure. I get you. So I understand that it's a very different type of thing, but mm-hmm. just in terms of, like, groups, like, I felt like fucking Neil. I was, like, mad at Neil. I was mad at Pierce. I was mad at everyone. I liked when everyone started <laughs> pitying Pierce because yeah. of his stuff. He's like, fine, I'll undo the magic. Yeah. Nah, I kill them all with my fire. Like, no, no, too late. Yeah, you should have done that. Yeah, you should have just breathed fire on them while they were frozen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, now the real thing here, though, is giant ears or tail. I, I mean, as a person that's hearing impaired, I go tail. Well, in, really? What yeah. are we talking about? When you uh, say tail, I would say a useful. Am I talking about like a dog tail? Yeah, am I talking about like a, like a monkey tail. I would say. Am I talking like, about you are like an ape. a bunny tail? And it's just a little so, fucking uh, cotton ball, like a primate. If I have, like, a tail that I can grab stuff and grab hang shit. from and yeah. shit, I probably want that. It's got to be useful. But. Be a furry. Ears. I could just hear really far and stuff. I like the idea of changing the direction yeah. that I'm getting. So I get you can, like, lay one down and look all cute. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you would do that one, that with your right one anyway, right? Can I, There's no other point. Can I have ears like, and I can be like, ah! <laughs> you know, like, come on. <laughs> like a Disney cartoon or something. Yeah. No, no. I mean, it would be very helpful for reactions. Because, yeah, you could show your emotions. So expressive. A lot so yeah. expressive. Yeah, like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're really changing my mind. I think, I, think I'm, I think you're right. I think big air is the way to go. Well, yeah. Well, like, sitting here, you're not going to see the tail. Well, you could, you could have it, like, sure. Yeah. It's like a Wukong type of like tail. It could, well, yeah, like but it also could be like, you could have it wrapped around your waist like a belt. Like a That's Saiyan. true. Could do that. What if I was like, I like to think that, like, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's not bad. Like, I like to think of like I drop my pen, I can like my tail can get it. Sure, I do like the idea of like I just have like an extra appendage that like I could yeah. be like, oh, hey, Kyle, look at this, and my tail comes up and like grabs his drink and takes it away. You know, he's like he doesn't notice. As a big guy, sometimes I have itches right in the middle of my back. I can't reach my tail. Mm-hmm. Might be tail. Able to. Yeah, yeah, but can it itch? Like, can you it can, scratch I, you could probably I could put like a little scratcher. You on could it. probably put like a little thimble with a scratchy a thing thimble. on it, and and. Do that with your tail? Yeah. What? <laughs> it's just like, he's like, I could probably put some on there. Eric's like, he could probably put like a little thimble there. He's like, a little thimble? Yeah. 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 A thimble. How about that? That's a good idea. Like, I have good. You know what a green. thimble is. Yeah, everybody knows what a thimble is. See? Yeah. Just it was, put it on your finger. It's like, see, I have an idea. It's good. <laughs> see? Thimble. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sold either way necessarily. I think I could go with ears or tail. Either one. Yeah. I think tail might be more useful as a whole, but I like the idea of being able to hear and also your expressions with your ears. Like, mm. you could. You could help, like, open doors. With your ears? With your with your tail while you're carrying groceries, or... Mm. You could, or like... Carry the groceries in your tail. Yeah. 
I suppose maybe. Depends how strong it is. You know, just different things like that. You can turn off light switches while you're walking out of the room, pull doors closed behind you, hold the door for people. Yeah, but what if, like, would you have a problem with getting your tail caught in doors? No, I think it's probably the same as, like, getting your foot caught in a door or something yeah. like that. You're just aware of where it is and where the door is going to close and everything. We'd have to change all, like, chairs. You'd have to, you'd have to like, flip it front when you drive, right? Unless there's a hole to put it in. Unless there's a hole, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Or you could use it for, like, sex stuff. What kind of stuff? I don't know, you said, like, a hole you could put it in. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then I was like, hey, there you go. I don't know why I asked. Maybe you could right. do that. <laughs> People would definitely do that. You'd shave it, though, right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It depends how soft the fur is, you know? Like, it's like tickly it like a did. feather or yeah. like... Like you could use it and like drag along stuff or actually like, I don't know. Hmm. There could be some uses made for it. I have to do some research. Yeah. Like what did uh, Hector the Well-Endowed do? You know? We watch this every week, so if you want to see up to the next four episodes, you can right now at patreon.com slash blindwave, where we have early access to the next four reactions. Also, check out Full Length, where you can see the entire reaction along with us. We have to cut it down for YouTube, but you can see the whole thing over there without reference footage. Guess we're going with ears. Yeah.